everyone, this is Lorica Banks and welcome back to Let's Play Murder by Numbers where we are continuing on in the last case of the game and we're gonna see, um, I think what's probably gonna happen is I'm probably gonna have to do some damn hacking <laughs> uh, Pray for me y'all, I just like the thought of it Alright, just let's go Okay, the coast looks clear. You need to access the t police database and search for information on art. What if someone catches us? I'll just tell them we're, uh, computer technicians. We're here to fix the parallel memory processors? <laughs> that is not a real thing. <laughs> I think Scout is, like, so disappointed in her. Like, why, Honor? Why? <laughs> yeah, well, they won't know that. Now, come on. We're here to get that file, not take a computing class. I will be as quick as possible for both our sakes. Okay. Oh, this one was five as well. Why didn't I notice that? Wow, that was the best I've ever done. <laughs> what the hell? How is that even possible? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But I was like, trying not to think about the time and just focus. <laughs> I'm in. Scanning police records for Jansen. Art. One match found. The file is almost empty. No picture. No contact details. Just the name. It might not even be the right person. There is one other piece of data, a court record. Mr. Jansen filed a lawsuit three years ago against Aaron Kino. Now we're talking. What was the claim? Theft of property. It seems the case was settled out of court, but most details have been removed from all records at the request of Aaron's defense attorney. <sighs> Ray, of course. And we both know who that I who that attorney was. Come on, I want to know what Aaron has to say about all this. What did she steal? Was it like intellectual property, like the story of a movie or something? Let's talk to Detective Cross. I'm just like super happy that that hacking was so quick and easy. Oh, I guess we can't. Okay. Sorry, detective. Guess we're not gonna update you. <laughs> oh, Aaron. You've lied about knowing Art Jansen. We found court records that say he filed a lawsuit against you. The mind is a difficult thing to grasp. Can you say for sure who and what you know? There's no point lying to us anymore. No point. Then I'll be blunt. I had forgotten him. It was not my first day in court. I weather these storms the only way I know how. I rise above them. Violent waves do not disturb the flight of birds. Except you didn't rise above it. Ray just made the problem go away. And I'm sad it came to that. I liked crafts. He had such a strong distaste for life. I found it 
enviable. Crafts. Arts and crafts. Ah, get it. Art and crafts. Or art jam. You said you liked crafts. What did you mean? A certain style. Monica is the name. After all, what are labels between friends? What? Label, style, Monica. Moniker? Honor, I get it. Crafts is a nickname. Very good. Maybe I'll solve this after all. Oh, I get it. Arts and crafts, see? Yeah. He was a talented pups master. If it didn't exist, he could make it. That's a kind of magic, don't you think? It's about time that music stopped. It really didn't suit the mood, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to have one more look through that Rolodex. But you said Art Jansen isn't in there. Maybe not under that name, but if I look under C... Aha! There is a card for crafts. And it has a telephone number. I hope it's still in use. Hi, is that Art Jansen? I'm calling about Aaron Kino. I... Wait, don't hang up. I'm a detective, and I need your help. Well, he took a little convincing, but once he heard I'm building a case against Aaron, he was happy to help. So, what did he say? After filming Wrapped on the Elm of Scott's Wood, a bunch of props went missing. They blamed Art at first. It nearly ended his career. But then he caught Aaron leaving the set with a box full of stuff. He couldn't believe it. She was just going to let him take the blame. Ooh. That would explain the lawsuit. Props used in filming can fetch a high price on the black market. Except they were never sold. Ray paid Art to withdraw the case, and no one ever found out what Aaron did with the missing props. Hmm. Which, by the way, Included 200 clay skulls. Clay skulls, like the ones we found. Exactly. Which means we have a direct link between Aaron Kino and those diamonds. Let's go tell Detective Cross. Here we go. Good news. We managed to contact Art Jansen. Remember those clay skulls? Aaron stole them. Which means she almost certainly knew what they were being used for. Speaking of which, I just got off the radio with headquarters. They found the buyer for those diamonds. Okay. Alright. You said they found the buyer for the diamonds. Remember that GPS you found? You thought it might have been Mal's escape route. Yeah, I guess we were wrong about that. Well, I asked headquarters to check out those coordinates anyway. Good job, Cross. They found a boat waiting there. Coast Guard had to chase them halfway around Santa Canalina, but they caught them eventually. Turns out the captain had a warrant out for their arrest. Let me guess. Smuggling? Exactly. And get this. They were the ones transmitting that coded radio signal. So they were trying to make contact with the Anemone. Seems like this whole damn boat party was just a cover-up for a diamond deal. Let's go find Erin. She can't talk her way out of this one. Oh, but Ray probably will. <laughs> Hello, Honor. Have we arrived at the climax of your story? You're wearing an expression of certainty. Which makes me doubt that this is the whole story. Because, I mean, we're only in rank C, so there has to be more to it, you know? And 
you're certainly about to be wearing a pair of handcuffs. Have ye cracked the case at last? I would very much like to hear your conclusion. She's too weird. No, no, no. She's too... relaxed about it. Okay. You're smuggling diamonds. You're smuggling diamonds using the clay skulls you stole from Art Jansen. A fascinating theory, but I know nothing about diamonds. Who would I sell them to? Black market smugglers. The Coast Guard found them right where the anemone's GPS indicated. You organized this whole boat party just to have a reason to head out there. But there were many people at the party. Any one of them could have arranged to meet these smugglers. No, they were transmitting a code word that only you would recognize as important. Elm. Part of the title of one of your films, which we found a copy of right here on the boat. And when we examined that film, we found Art Jansen's name circled. The same Art Jansen who you stole the skulls from. It's all connected. How convenient. You've done very well. But there's still one more question, Honor. Why? Look around you. I have more money than I need. Why would I smuggle diamonds? This feels weird. A cat can have a comfortable home and all the food it could ever want, but it will still hunt birds. Exquisite. I was beginning to think we would never understand each other. I don't understand. <laughs> the domestic cat does not need to kill, yet it does. It is simply in its nature. No, this is too weird. Erin, don't say another word. Give it up, Ray. It's over. Give up? I haven't even started yet. Erin Kino, you're under arrest. Thank you, detective. This is a false arrest. I'll have you hung out to dry for this. You're all talk, Kino. She's going away for good this time. I am a thousand frayed threads finally bound, yet I feel a great release. I think she gets off on this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're going to be released, all right. I'm going to fight these charges, and we're going to win. Just like always. Whatever you say. Come with me, Aaron. As Aaron Kino's legal representative, I demand to know the charges. Do you hear me? What happened to due process? Come on, there's more. Yeah, something else. Anybody else here? Huh. So quiet, it feels weird. Now it's the prisoner. In a cell for now. Weird thing is, she almost seemed happy. I know what you mean. It was almost like she wanted to get arrested, right? Perhaps she's doing research for her next script. It won't do her much good if Ray gets the charges dismissed. After she confessed, not likely, but I guarantee you'll find a way to get the sentence reduced. She'll be out in a year or two. But what about the murder? Almost makes me wonder if it was all if it was worth all that effort. This is what it's like to be a real detective. Even when you win, sometimes you still lose. The only thing now would be if the captain wakes up and tells us something else is going on, you know? Which is what I believe has to happen. 
But don't be too hard on yourself. This will be the first time anyone's ever got a charge to actually stick to a Kino. Thanks, but we're not done yet. What about Lori and Mao? We still don't know what happened to them. Agreed. We've got a lot of loose ends to tie up. Jeez, can you believe we originally went out there for information on Frank Pritchell? Now that the diamond smuggling is sorted, we can get back to it. Is Ray still around? I might try asking a few more questions. Rather you than me. Ugh, I guess so. <laughs> Let's talk to this man. Angry little man. <laughs> what do you want? We still have a few loose ends, and I want answers. Did you really think you and Aaron would get away with smuggling diamonds? Nothing has been proven in a court of law. I can almost understand Aaron's motivation. She does things just to see what it's like. But you, you went along with it all. I'll do whatever I have to do. Aaron isn't like you or me. She needs guidance. She needs to be protected. No, you, you freaking spoiled her and let her get away with literal crime. Like, come on, man. This is not healthy. If Lori Becker was mixed up in all this, you might as well tell us now because we will find out. I honestly have no idea what happened to her. I think it was the other guy, the other captain. I, I, he's still shady as hell. He seemed pretty angry that Aaron was arrested. But how far would you go to defend her? What are you getting at? You told Mal to stay away from the hold. Presumably because you knew it was full of illegal cargo. But then he found out anyway. Did you attack Mal Cruz because he knew too much? I object. That's a leading question. There's nothing to support that claim. How about Mal himself? As soon as he's able to talk, we'll know exactly what happened. Unless he ends up dead. Which I'm worried because the, they let the other captain go. Like, he could show up at the hospital and kill Mal, you know? It's no good. We can't get anything useful out of Ray. He's denying everything. Maybe not for long. An officer from Port Authority was just here. They found the missing lifeboat, and there was something inside. <gasps> what is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell me it's not another, another dead body, please, because I, I would die. <laughs> what is it? Oh, okay, puzzle. <sighs> Alright. Okay, what's this? Pistol. Mm -hmm. So that was the murder weapon then. A weapon. You okay, Scout? You might need a minute to. No, I am fine. Please continue. This must be the gun that killed Lori. Can you tell anything important from it, Detective? A little. I could be wrong, but I think this is a custom model. Looks like it's been modified. Can't Scout tell for sure. I would have thought he'd know all about weapons since he... Uh-oh. Detective? There's no need to pretend anymore, Honor. It's clear you told Detective Cross what I remembered. I felt like he had a right to know. I'm sorry if... No need to apologize. It was a logical decision. Oh, you feel so betrayed. To answer your question, Detective, I only have limited knowledge of firearms, but I can detect several unusual ma mesh wait, 
machining marks. Huh. Weird term. I believe this gun was modified for left-handed operation. Oh, that's good to know. How to narrow things down. Give me a second. I'll go get Ray. No, I don't think he's left-handed. That would be interesting. Ray, are you left-handed? Is this your idea of a joke? Just answer the question. Oh, no. Well, doesn't mean he did it, but still. Yes, I'm left-handed. What does that have to do with anything? Everything. Ray Kino, you're under arrest for the murder of Lori Becker. No, you should have at least tested the gun to see if it had fingerprints. Or check his hand to see if it has, um, you know, um, god, gunshot residue or something. Have you lost your mind? I didn't kill anyone. Save it for the jury. That was a little too quick, y'all. So, Aaron was smuggling diamonds, Ray attacked Mal when he found out, and then he killed Lori when she found Mal. All that just to protect his sister. Family is important, as are friends. I'm sorry I told Cross. I just thought... That I would not find out. <sighs> I know, I shouldn't have told anyone without your permission. But it didn't seem fair to keep him in the dark. You think I am dangerous? I... I found someone who can help. They're waiting to meet you, if you want. I want things to go back to the way they were. Me too. At least she's kind of told him. Ray's locked up tight. Never met a lawyer who deserved it more. What? I interrupt something. We're heading back to my apartment. You sure you don't want to help me with the paperwork? That's when the fun really begins. <laughs> You'll learn what it's really like to be a cop. <laughs> nope, she's just gonna dodge out of this one. Sorry, Detective. I promised I'd help Scout, and I intend to keep that promise. Fair enough. Thanks for your help today, both of you. I mean it. Let me know if you hear anything from the hospital about Mal. Will do. And Scout, good luck. Oh. Alright. We can still talk to him? Is there anything else to say? I thought he was in the prison. <laughs> in the jail cell, I mean. I have nothing more to say to you. Oh, okay. Well, then let's head out. Can't you just tell me who we're meeting? Didn't anyone ever teach you to be patient? I don't believe that is in my programming. I will add it to my list of requested features for V... I'm sure you mean version 2.0. 2.0? We didn't even make it to version 1.0. Scout, this is Jenna. I... I know your face. You do? That's amazing. Your long-term memory must have self-repaired. Do you remember how you know me? I doubt it. He has trouble making connections between images and data. You should have seen what he thought were my car keys. <laughs> have I said this before, you guys, that I kind of ship Honor and Jenna? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, like the two mommies to the little scout baby. Like, I think that would be really cute, you know? You... You worked at the place where I was built. Seems like he's making connections just fine to me. Not a connection. An educated guess. I remember your face, but the associated data is corrupted. Therefore, I know you from a time before.
before I wiped my memory. All my recovered memories from that time have involved the place where I was built, so you must also be from there. Yeah, Scout has really good logic, you know? Full self-awareness. Logical extrapolation. Your entire personality matrix is still intact. Impressive! Especially considering the condition I was left in. You were never supposed to end up on a scrap heap, Scout. Then what happened? <sighs> I need to get that missing data. Give me a second to get set up. What data? What is she doing? Jenna has a plan. She can write a modification to disable the black box routines they placed in you. You set all this up without asking me. I... I couldn't risk mentioning it earlier. We had to be sure it was even possible. I thought we told each other everything. Aww. Okay, I'm going to hook into Scout's neural net to get some diagnostic data. Is it safe to move around? Sure, just let me know if you feel anything unusual. You know, latency spikes, neural pathway errors, melted circuits. Whew, okay. Let's talk to her for a few. Jenna, I have some questions. Ask away? Just try not to hover too close to the TV. It screws up my connection. What will the modification do? It's a patch to block or reroute your, re your weapon subroutines. If it works, they'll be completely disabled. You wouldn't be able to use them even if you wanted to. And if it doesn't work? One thing at a time. Can you tell me more about where I was created? You were designed and built at the SSI labs, not far from here. It was a purpose-built facility for research and development, and the scout project was the crown jewel. Are the labs still there? I don't know. Probably not. They sold pretty much everything when SSI shut down. The scout project. Scout, self-contained, uh, operating, uh, I forget the rest, one of Tom's little jokes. I swear it stood for something different every week. Who is Tom? Tom Schmidt, your hardware engineer. He would have been proud to see how you turned out if... I have an important question. One I have wanted an answer to for some time. Why did you build me? The goal was, was to create a robot that could operate in places too dangerous for humans. Radiation, extreme heat, flooding. So I can swim. Tested to a depth of 3,000 feet. I wanted you to be able to find and help me. That's why I took the job. So what changed? You are too much of a success. Your ability to not only ex assess situations, but also to reason and adapt to changes. Once they saw what Scout could do, SSI wanted the project to refocus on military applications for deployment into combat zones. Of course. There's no money in saving lives, but there's a lot of money in taking them. Exactly. I fought it every step of the way, but it was no use. They set up a defensive systems research division and gave them complete access to the project. One morning I came into the lab and the scout wasn't where I left him. I ran a memory check and someone had added new code that I couldn't access. After that, it started happening more regularly. Tom and I didn't know what they were doing, but we could guess. Aww. 
When I woke up, all my memory banks were corrupt. At first, I thought they had just been damaged, but then I started remembering things about the lab, about you. I remembered the truth. I deleted those memories, and now I know I... I know what I did. I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to hurt people, Jenna. Not again. If this modification works, you won't be able to. Now, ca now can we change the subject? Okay, I've got the data. Now I just need to write the patch. How long will it take? Hard to say. I've never had access to this part of his code before. Hi, Detective. What's up? What? Okay, we'll be right there. Oh no, was Mal murdered? What's wrong? It's Mal. He's dead. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it. It was the Captain Muscle Man guy. Oh, y'all. 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 <laughs> I'd be such a good... I'd be such a freaking great detective, man. I'd be on top of this shit. Like, y'all. Oh. That sucks. But he was in the hospital. He was getting better. I don't understand either. Cross is waiting downtown to fill us in on the details. What about my software patch? Can I go? Sure, I'll just sit here on my own. That's cool. Don't worry about me. Would you prefer if I stay to keep you company? What? No, I was being serious. I work better without distractions. But can you grab me a bag of chips while you're out? I'm starving. Okay, well, I knew that was going to happen, so rip Mal. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I think we're getting really down to the nitty-gritty, and that excites me. Although, it looks like we still got a ways to go because we're rank C. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.